All right, my life is a mess. My life is unorganized. And there are three main areas that I'm gonna tackle today to get organized. And I'm gonna bring you on the journey. It's a fucking mess. I'm so, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. I was just recording the last, I don't know, 45 minutes. I did a whole scene in my room where I showed you my dirty ass room. I showed you the dirty kitchen and then I started making a protein shake. I was talking to the camera so much and it was in slow-mo. And when it's in slow-mo, it doesn't even pick up the audio. I feel defeated. I feel defeated but I also feel tested. And it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. With that being said, I'm gonna... <laughs> uh. I heard man when I chat and chit. I come through like what's good, these weeks getting split. Man better breeze and sprint, it's long if I choose to bite down on these pricks. X is a Liverpool 4-4 four, four and down the link car. So what I was saying when I was recording in slow-mo for about 30 minutes was basically my life is a mess and that is a prime example of it. And by a mess, I mean in a good way. It's weird, I just feel like I have so much going on and I'm so cluttered, so unorganized. I just have so many plans for this year, so many projects that I'm working on and I will dive into that. And so my room is a pigsty, the kitchen is a pigsty, my calendar is getting better, my notion is getting better, uh, but <laughs> that's what I'm gonna share. So let's start with, let's start with the dishes. Done with the kitchen, day and night different. Check this out. All right, now we go upstairs. One of the only downsides to having a small dog like Teddy is, see these stairs? He won't go up them. So we carry him, which is totally fine. I love it because he is the most adorable thing in the world, but he won't go up it. What's funny is he can go upstairs, but these, for some reason, he just won't. He won't go down either. Weird, huh? But anyways. Okay, so that remember that whole 45 minute video that I recorded and it was in slow-mo? Well, basically this is what I wanted to show you. <sighs> yeah. Yep, so I'm being vulnerable. I'm not organized. My life is a mess. And, but let me provide some context. It's not an excuse because it's been forever, but during Christmas, Michelle and I took a road trip and we took and did an RV trip. We were gone for like two and a half weeks and we lived out of that thing. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll confess. There's still clothes. There's literally still clothes in there from Christmas. I hate laundry. When I get clean laundry, I put it here, and I always tell myself the next day I'm gonna put it away. Never happens. Today, I'm gonna get organized, I'm gonna clean this. Look at my closet. Like, this is not doable. 
It's 2024, I need to do better, I need to be better. My bathroom isn't terrible, but I'm organizing myself. I'm gonna clean this room now, I'm gonna organize this, and then the last piece of this video, kind of working on my storytelling, is going to be sharing about how I'm getting organized from a work perspective, because I'm doing so much. I am coaching and mentoring. I started a business called the Reaction Channel Academy, where I'm helping people start reaction channels, so that's one thing. Rice and Ginger is a full-time job in itself. I'm also prioritizing fitness, I'm also starting this channel. Michelle and I are also going to be starting a new channel. It won't be taking away anything from Rice and Ginger. It'll actually be all Rice and Ginger similar content, but more adult rated stuff. More on that later. Long story short, I have a lot of projects going on. I need to organize it. So I'm going to share with you the two tools that I'm not great at yet, but I'm working on, which is Notion and Fantastical. So I'm going to use those to basically try to organize my life. And it's still a mess. I'm a mess, but, but we're going to make some progress today. Let's get it. Now we begin. You know what, I'm gonna actually close this. My skinny jeans, your leggings. No two gonna do better. But you gotta love yourself first. Before I could be that brother. Grow a little, gotta search. Get in touch with your feelings. No, you hate the nine to five. You live in the catch this spot. I'll be your Mufasa. I'm your Leo. I'm your Lion. I don't really care about your hair length or your diet. No, you hate working and you working sick and tired. I can be the vibe, girl, the vibe that you trying to find in my mind. Yeah. You gotta say something. To get my heart back, baby, you gotta say something. No, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, say nothing, I'll find it through someone new. I close my eyes and I just hope it's you. I hope it's you. But you gotta say something. Whole house looking like a scene out of insecure. Talking about dreams, but you think you're fit. Floating through life, cause it's sink or swim. Take what you want by the horns and ride. You only want truth, but they told you lies. Get on your knees when you pray to God, and that's a capital G when I'm saying God. Really want you when I say it's time. Spitting that flame like it's 99, and all the girls from the 99 and 2000s. Know what's up when it's time to grind. You don't call or text me ever. Girl, I gotta see some effort. I don't mean no wine on Friday, but we chilling watching that play. Get my mind. You guys look who just got home. Say hello. Boo Bear, say hello. I don't know why it's not auto focusing. No, I don't show show my hair. Oh, it looks cute. It looks cute. All right, you guys, look. Oh, God, I feel accomplished. Look at this. The before and after. I should do a before and after. But it's so. Look at it. It's dark outside now. Beautiful sunset. What do you think about the room, Boo? Seriously. <gasps> I feel like I look like Misa from Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a, a Lolita doll. Like, I'm not used to this hair. Food? The room? Oh, yeah. It's great. How long has it been dirty? Like, ever since we moved here. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Throw me under the bus. No, I, I've told them. My life is a mess, so. Wow, good job, Boo. Thank it you. It actually looks really clean. Thank you. It's the best. Yeah. It was like, piled on. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna take a break and probably eat, and then I'll wrap up this video here in a sec. You'll see. I don't know why I'm telling you. Just, <laughs> just watch. <laughs> okay, so super productive, but now the third kind of major part of my life that I wanna ad address, which it's more just about organizing my day to day, right? Like the, the tasks, the different projects that I've talked about and the two tools that I am using are Notion and Fantastical. So basically what it is, Notion, if you don't know, it's like a project management tool, something I need desperately because up until January of this year, I kind of just try to randomly throw stuff in my calendar on my phone or I always pull up my phone notes app. And it's okay, but almost every weekend, Michelle's like, did you forget we have this to do? And I'm like, 
shit or I'll forget to do stuff or, and on top of that, I don't, basically I just know I'm not using my time efficiently. I'm waking up, I'm spending too much time like in between tasks that my day is gone before I even know it. And so using Fantastical and blocking off, this is when I'm going to the gym, this is when I'm filming, this is when I'm replying to comments, this is when I'm working with my clients one-on-one -on -one for Reaction Channel Academy, this is when I'm vlogging, this is when I'm video editing. I need to have it broken down and I need to follow it. And so these are the two tools that I'm working on that I'm starting to use and I'll be super vulnerable and transparent with you guys. I need to still sit down and I've even thought about taking a Notion course or like a Notion masterclass to really utilize what the tool is meant for because as of right now, I have it split up in kind of projects. So I basically have like four different pages, each for one page for each project that I'm kind of working on, right? But that's really it. It's kind of just a notes page where it's still cool because it's all in one place, but I know I'm not using it to the best of my abilities. I want to start using using it to track my finances. I want to do a lot more with it. So that is what I'm working on. Fantastical is amazing because I have so many different calendars. I have Rice and Ginger. I have the Reaction Channel Academy. I have my personal. Um, I have our film schedule. I have Michelle's, which is like our personal. So travel, events, things like that. And they're all on different emails, different Google calendars. Basically, Fantastical has it all on one calendar. Yes, I know Google Calendar can do that, but for me, I love the UI and, and just kind of the ease of use for Fantastical, especially on mobile. So on the phone, it's amazing. On top of that, they do have this really cool feature. It sounds like I'm sponsored by them. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by either of these two. I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm using. There's a really cool feature which uses AI and I can literally just hit a plus button and then, and just say, next Thursday, go to the doctors. And then done. It'll add it to my calendar, put doctor appointment, do all of that for me, and it'll be in my calendar. And so if I'm on the go or I'm driving or something like that, it's helped me a lot. These are the two things that I think to sum up this video, this is kind of the next arguably most important piece of being productive for 2024. And cleaning helps because I think from a mental standpoint, your environment does matter. But this is like, this is what, how I'm gonna execute and progress to make sure that this time next year, January, 2025, I'm not in the same place I, I am today, right? That's kind of the ultimate goal. So hopefully this helps you. Maybe this can spark a little motivation or inspiration for you to look into some apps, to get more organized, to just be more deliberate with how you're spending your time. I think utilizing a calendar, setting intentions on what you wanna accomplish and just holding yourself accountable to that is key. And so I'm excited. I'm just looking forward to reflecting back on this. I'm excited also for this channel. Literally every day I'm self-teaching myself new and new video editing tips and tricks. Hopefully this video demonstrated some of that. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better with like my color, video editing, lighting, transitions, all of that stuff. I'm still figuring out how to use a camera. I'll be honest, like half the time it was in manual focus versus autofocus. I'm still figuring out kind of like f-stop and shutter speed and all these things, but I just know I'm I'm gonna give it my all and I'm gonna crush it. Like I promise you this channel is gonna be so high quality that like I just don't see a world in which it fails. And by that, I don't mean necessarily subscriber and view counts. I just mean like improvements, progressive improvements that just continue forever. So I'm excited for that. Thank you for everyone who's watching, who's supported me. My goal is to get one video up a week. And so this is week number two and video number two. So that's it. This is the art of Ron, which I also came up with the name and I just love it because I think everything we do in life, there's an art to it. And so every video that I do should have some sort of tie back to it being a form of art. I don't know, I just really love the idea. So, all right y'all. Stay up and stay blessed. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.